boy. Charles the White, you was a bitch, boy. That nigga said he was with him. He was with him. Man, I stayed with my older cousins. Motherfucker went to point who did what, who. Man, we was about to whoop your ass when you come back down here from telling. Yo ass, you had, I can see you had a soft upbringing. That video ass in general population and them other little boys that, that grew up from bank head where your daddy is, bank on your motherfucking head and swear you up and, and have you with knots on your shit and that yellow nigga knots don't go down like the dark skin nigga knots. Them black eyes, them yellow niggas get go through some shit compared to a dark skin nigga when he get a black eye. It seemed like that yellow nigga. This ain't your fucking restaurant. This ain't your fucking restaurant. Everything you make, I can pull out my pocket right now. I ain't tripping on you. Hey, get the hell out of my face. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Who the hell is he? What's your name? My name King. You know it and your mama know. Tell your mama happy Mother's Day. Tell your mama happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Fire your shit. Come back. Come back. What? On game one. On game one. Come here. Come here. I'll show you what I do. Come here. I'll show you what I do. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. We out here. We out here. I'm outside. Okay. So I'm outside. Come on, shake some. Come on, shake some. Get, get Come on, shake some. Hey, get your employees. Get your employees. Yeah, shock something in this. Tell your mama happy mother. And you still talking inside though. You still talking inside though. Why you inside? Can't stop me from doing shit. I'm doing shit. Let me get my food. Thank you. Just talking like they like that, they ain't like that. Before I get back here, piss with me. Fuck. Wait till I get back and see him out here late night. Wait till I slap him. Alright, yeah. Yeah, wait. Wait till I come back in the market late night. And then it's just you and I slap you up. Yeah. What up, though? You already know how I go. Smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment as long as you comment. You dig. Appreciate all my support. Shout y'all out, man. Make sure y'all like. Hit the like button. You watching it anyway, just press the like button. That's it. That's all it is to it. You deal what I'm talking about? But um let's talk about this TI situation with his son. Not even the whole Charleston White situation, right? Just in in general. He walk in a Waffle House, right? He walk in a Waffle House and say, Oh man, who who is you? I got your years worth in my pocket or your or whatever you gonna make in my pocket right now, like and he and he been doing this little arrogant, crazy stuff, you know, spoiled, sheltered child. Look at his father background and be like, "Oh, I want to be like that. Like I'm tough. Might hang around a few hood, uh, hood dudes and just tough, man." This and, and Ti defend that when he should be coming out. And I really think he should be saying like, "Yeah, my son on some, he on some other shit. He on some other shit." You can't be going around talking to people like that. Are you noticed too? All the videos of like T.I. that was when he was in the courtroom testifying because I seen those videos years ago where he was giving like details. The shots was meant for me. I got into an argument with somebody, so on and so forth. All those videos are gone. You can't even find them no more. The videos of his son, um, you know, getting his hands put on him, and then the videos of him talking about going to get the guns and stuff like that, they all gone. I can't find them no more. It just be adding up, bro. Like, you know, a silencer is like 10 years. You got caught with all these guns. You got one year and a day. I'm not saying he's snitching. Ain't no black and white paperwork. But I'm just saying, like, bro, like, anything that they got on you, it just goes away. Now, you might have not directly said he did that, this, this, and that. But he definitely said. He got into an altercation with somebody. Them bullets was meant for him. I remember him being on that stand. Whack 100 is a thousand percent right. That happened. Now you got your goofy son going around here talking to every hard, uh, everyday hardworking people. I got what you got in my pocket right now. It's this spoiled, sheltered brat. This light-skinned fuzzball want to be, be so tough. Get, I wish T.I. was my father. I'd be like the money. I'm trying to get the money. If my father's the connect, he the plug. I'd be trying to get every feature I can from him. I have some of the best. Boy, I know a lot of people looking at this like, yeah, yeah, I'd trade spots with him. I'd, I'd swap days with him. 
to grow up like he grew up. Struggle bring characters. No, it's no, you, you, you know, people who never struggled lack this moral, this this tact to be respectful and, and, and appreciate people. They feel like they can talk to him any type of way. And he been doing this goofy stuff, man. I'm glad Charleston White on his behind. I'm glad he on his behind. Boy, trying to be a thug, gangster, and you you simply not that. Simply not that, man. But, I, I, you know, I ain't going to say nothing too bad about the brother, man. I'm going to keep all that, you know, young. He growing up. That's just a different lifestyle, man. I, I can't lie and say I ain't jealous and envious of how he grew up compared to how I. Boy, if I knew what I knew now and I had T.I. as a daddy, boy. I would. Peace and blessings be upon y'all. I just wanted to speak on that, man. Y'all check out the videos, bro. I'm about to drop them. Peace. <laughs>